Hi, I'm Rue. And I'm Sean. And this is the YouTube channel where kids get their inventions made. Kids invent stuff. We challenged kids to send us their ideas for household robots. And Izzy, who's six, sent us her idea for Dinner Dan. And you can see it's an incredible robot. <laughs> it has an oven, a toaster, it's got a cupboard in it, it peels fruit, and it has like a supply of her favourite drinks. So this episode, we're going to be building Dinner Dan. Kids invent. Household robots. So Dinner Dan, he's got to be able to move around. So Izzy drew him with legs, but um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to build a walking robot. I think we definitely need some sort of wheels. I think it needs to be movable. You've got to be able to drive it around a kitchen. It takes a long time to build a walking robot. Yeah, and, and I think as well, like the key thing is having all those components. So you've got the oven and the toaster and the cupboard. You know, I think they need to be built into some sort of like wooden body. Um, and, and I think as well, obviously you've got like all those bits in the arms and there's just a lot of things that we need to We've got to be able to move Together. those arms, haven't they, as well? And we've got to be yeah, able to actually like, going to reach out and do stuff. Definitely, definitely. And you've got, obviously, um, the cupboard um, element of it. And I just assumed you put the drinks in. But obviously, that's not what it says on the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> so as you did say, she wanted a, um, a way of dispensing, like giving her her favourite drinks. Um, so I guess we could we could put those in the cupboard. Um, she also obviously wanted a way that Dinner Dan could peel and chop fruit. Um, so it's either, is there some way we can peel and chop fruit at the same time? Or oh, I think we... you could have it interchangeable. So depending what he's doing, you could have like on the end of his arm, like attachments, a bit like cool. Captain Hook, like different attachments like that fit them on. on. Yeah, yeah, and he can like chop things, nice. peel things. Um, and then obviously like the cutlery, like I think we need to really focus on the arms. I want them to be able to like stab, I want to be fed. I want to like stab things and like feed it to me. I don't want to Get do any work. and soup and just like yes. the soup. Yes, um, so I think we need really lots of kind of really nice movement on those arms and obviously nice. I think it needs to look really friendly, like it's here to, to help, I think we need a nice face. He does look face. pretty happy in Izzy's drawing. Yeah, he looks really happy and I think we need to kind of capture that. Cool. So we want Dinner Dan to look as close to Izzy's drawing as we can. The only thing we're going to have to change are the legs, so instead of having a walk around we're going to have Dinner Dan on some wheels, we're going to have some motorised arms so that it can move and then we've got an oven, a toaster and a cupboard and we're going to put those drinks into the cupboard. So in one of the arms we're going to have a peeler and a chopper and then on the other hand we're going to have a rotating cutlery arm. So we've got lots of the components we're going to need here to build Dinner Dan. A load of plywood that we're going to use to build some of the boxes for his body. Timber that we're going to use to build a framework to hold all that wood together. Oven that we're going to use so Dinner Dan can cook stuff. We've got a toaster so Dinner Dan can make toast. And we're going to build that into his body. Some of these things which are called servos. Two of those for each of Dinner Dan's arms. On one of his arms he's going to have a hand, like Izzy's drawing, made from cutlery rotating so he can use the knife, the fork or the spoon. An old drill that we're going to use to make a, a peeler and a chopper. Some various bits of fruit on, on the end of the peeler and we can peel them up. Candle holders that we thought would make really good eyes for dinner down. Maybe put some LEDs in there. We've got a few ideas for what we can use the other end for those four as well. So Izzy loves orange juice and she said that Dinner Dan should have a supply of her favourite drink. And there's also one more thing that uh, we're going to build in as well. Um, that's going to allow Dinner Dan to be able to drive around. <laughs> and it is a electric golf trolley. I'm so sorry, let me just... <laughs> I might have bruises. Let me just manoeuvre out of you here. <laughs> if you switched it on. <laughs>
a little bit of a problem. Broke our servo motor. I'm I'm being calm about it. I'm Sean's, grumpy about it. <laughs> Sean's likely to lose it. This servo is supposed to be able to turn 15 kilos. We stuck our big head on there. Um, and the head doesn't weigh very much, but we've broken the servo. I think it's, yeah, we've ruined the gears inside. We've worn all the teeth off them. Um, so our robot head isn't gonna turn. Let's just get the head on it. Now Dinner Dan's all set to go, we need to test him for real. So join us next week when Dinner Dan will be making dinner. Kids invent stuff.